Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. With the full popularization of the digital society, the importance of chips has become increasingly prominent, and the height of chip technology directly determines the upper limit of a country's technological development. For a long time, China has hoped to be able to complete overtaking on corners in the field of chips, but the lack of manufacturing technology makes China only use new technology to improve the performance of chips and fill the gap with other countries. Due to the restrictions on EUV lithography machines in the United States, the current process has been stuck at 14 nanometers and the 7 nanometers and 7 nanometers and above processes must use extreme ultraviolet lithography technology to achieve a higher degree of miniaturization. This technology has been mastered by European and American countries. Due to the difficulty of the process, they have imposed strict restrictions on China's technology. With China's current technology level, the only way to produce better chips is to master CFET. Technology Fudan University volunteered to apply a brand new 2D atomic crystal to the production of silicon chips and made significant progress in CFET transistors, making domestic semiconductor chips from the EUV era in the EUV era to a whole new world. The discovery of this technology is not only of great significance to the independent development of new integrated circuit technology in China, but also helps to break the technological blockade of foreign countries in the field of large-scale integrated circuits. Information This technology uses a mature back-end process to integrate new two-dimensional materials on a silicon-based chip and utilizes the highly matched physical properties of the two to successfully realize a 4-inch large-scale three-dimensional heterogeneous integrated complementary field effect transistor. The development of China's integrated circuit industry has encountered a bottleneck. With the advent of the digital age, chips are becoming more and more important because its value will affect the technological progress of a country, which is why the chip industry has received more and more attention in recent years. Chip requirements are getting higher and higher, and the only way to fundamentally solve this problem is to achieve self-control. TSMC has come to this point largely because of ASML's EUV lithography machine, coupled with TSMC's timely technical information, which can greatly improve their technology. But with the approach of Moore's law, there are still many problems to be solved. With the advancement of process technology, the process cost required for the process has also increased geometrically. At present, the process cost of 3 nanometers process technology is 581.1 million US dollars, which is more than 10 times higher than the 42.8 million US dollars of 28 nanometers process technology. Fan, but the more mature the process technology is, the smaller the improvement of the process technology will be. Even Apple must take into account the issue of production efficiency. TSMC also encountered the same problem. The price of their chips, from 28 nanometers chips to 3,000 US dollars, broke through 3,000 US dollars, and 3 nanometers chips even reached 20,000 US dollars. They tried to raise prices several times, but were rejected. Apple both China and Intel have rejected the production of 3 nanometers chips, so they urgently need a new chip technology to reduce production costs. Chip stacking and core particle technology, which are popular in the market now, 
are new technologies developed by chip manufacturers. Through the latter method, chips with different structures are integrated to maximize the performance of the chip. But this approach is not perfect. China has been looking for opportunities to overtake on curves, but at the current level of technology, it is difficult to produce semiconductors above 7 nanometers due to the lack of EUV lithography machines. So the only thing they can do is to use new technologies to improve semiconductor materials. No one expected that Fudan University has really found a shortcut. Fudan University in China solved a major technical problem. Fudan University decided to start from chip design, research 3D stacked complementary transistor, CFET, technology that can significantly increase its density, and apply it on a conventional psi substrate, and finally obtain a 4-inch 3D stacked complementary FET. It doubles the integration density at the same joint point and fully demonstrates its excellent performance. Compared with traditional psi materials, 2D single crystals have higher atomic thickness and higher grain size, which makes 2D single crystal materials have greater advantages in a short time. Molybdenum disulfide can be used at a lower temperature, which will neither affect the performance of the device nor the performance of the chip. CEFT is the successor of Gaffet technology in 2 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip production. Integrating it with core technology will greatly reduce the cost of chip production. Intel is also conducting related research. More importantly, they can reduce their dependence on high-tech technology. Once high-tech technology reaches a certain level, they may no longer use EUV lithography machines, because EUV lithography machines are too expensive, and they are now urgent ground requires a set of dependencies on ASML. If CEFT transistor technology can be widely used, then China can achieve independent and controllable 28 nanometers process, which can meet all current requirements. China is still in the leading position in the world in terms of chip technology, which will be an important factor for China to overtake. What do you think?